What's going on everybody? Today we're basically going to be continuing where we left off and continuing to disassemble the car and strip the car at like 75% strip. So now basically the idea is I'm going to take the skirts off, um, strip the lower portion of like the door and the fender and the quarter uh, from the body line down pretty much. Then kind of go over some of the issues that I found, start cleaning them up, see what else we find. Pack it up, uh, get the wheels off, take the back bumper off. Yeah, kind of just go over basically what we found and then clean up some of the edges. And then hopefully, hopefully this video is gonna be the last of like this stuff. I don't know, like the stripping and kind of the boring part. And then we're gonna get into actually fixing things and making things better and kind of more interesting stuff. Yeah, so I'm just gonna get into basically that and start taking the car apart a little bit more. So, let's get this off. The bolt to be up under here, I guess. Wish I had a light, but I don't have a light. <clears throat> These are supposed to just push in. Like part way in. clip but there it is 10 mil I'm sure there's more along here too and then back here I'm pretty sure yeah I'm just going in here and getting the bolts uh, all along down in there for the bumper so not only does that one suck way down there take a look over there way inside there. I really gotta get a proper trouble light. This out here. This is usually pretty easy because they're just in the plastic, so really no way for it to seize, which is cool. These are already out, they weren't even in there. It's a little concerning. Same with under here, I don't know if you can see because of the diffuser now, but there's supposed to be two bolts up there. One there and one on the other side. Also not with the car so there we go 
It's actually the first time I've had this off. And it looks like it's got bumped before. You can see it's not supposed to be like that. It's supposed to be like that. Really doesn't matter. You never see it. It doesn't affect anything, but also a little crusty there. Probably from the damage, honestly. Let's do a little bit of work there. I might pull that just so it looks normal. But you'll never ever see that. But that makes sense because you look on the bumper, it's bumped up here and it's all the paint spider crack. And you can see where something hit it. That's pretty close to like that side of the car. So, but other than that, looks pretty good. See any rust under here. See if there's any rust on this side. Doesn't look like it. You can see like where the rust was fixed. It's right there. But underneath, it's clean. Awesome. Cool. So basically right here is the only damage. Uh, one of those on both sides. But this, kind of bummed. Not really, but. It's not ideal. You see a little bit of damage here too. Just have to dolly that, no big deal. Not really rotten anywhere, that's good. Usually there's holes in the trunk and stuff, but this one's pretty clean. Good enough for me. Also, this is something worth noting, I guess. Uh, I didn't even realize when I took the bumper off, but there's no rebar at all. Like this is just basically stamped sheet metal and this is obviously just sheet metal normally there would be like i don't know big standoffs and then like a frame work back here and then it would tuck up inside the bumper you wouldn't see it it'd be like a it's called a rebar but these cars they're sold in japan even the s14s that's pretty sure the s13s too they don't have front or rear rebars uh, when they're sold in japan so i'm assuming well these never came to north america so that's probably why i guess but just super weird to see no rebar at all. So you get rear-ended, all it is is sheet metal. So that's why this is dented in like this. So I get this off. I gotta open the door. These have been fixed many times, but these side skirts, they really look like the infill uh, side skirts. But I think the vent is like a different shape. They've got like a wrap of that, and they're all like wavy, so there's gonna be a lot of body work to make them nice. But I do like the style, I guess. So, we'll see. I'm always looking for body kits here and there, but. I think those are the ones I'm going to use because I do like how simple they are and they sit nice and low just like the rear diffuser. But, oh. This is something that I kind of wanted to show too is this uh, pinch weld. On the very end it's massive. Like it's got to be at least two inches. Normally they're like maybe an inch, like three quarters of an inch type thing. But on these cars, it's huge. See, it's a little beat up here. Can't wear that around, but the rockers are mint too. Nothing under them, no rust. So that's awesome. Oh, I just had to get the the trunk open, and I can get these uh, interior panels out. So I have to get that side out uh, for the antenna, so I can get to that. this. It's all down in here. And the way that this works is this latch comes down here and latches right in there. So it wraps around, this plastic wraps around it. So gotta get that out. Uh, it's kinda cool. You can also open up this trunk with 
the thing open, so it looks kind of wild. You'd think that you wouldn't be able to do that, but you can. <laughs> Sucks, but not a huge deal. Uh, we'll get that welded up when we do everything else. Yeah, this is super weird. There's, these are spot welds. I thought they were dense, but if you look, I don't know. You got to kind of know what you're looking at, but you can see that those are outlines of spot welds. And then there's like this silicon braze or whatever weld here, and then also right here. And then that's also used on the, the A pillar for the roof. So I'm thinking, assuming that Autec, when they did the Varietta like, conversion, because this was just a regular spec S, uh, and then they actually converted them like by hand. Um, I'm assuming that they welded this section in, so it must be like strengthened or something. Because like I said, I know the, the pinch weld is massive now. So that might have something to do with it, but it also might not, I have no idea. But anyways, this side of the car, pretty much 100% stripped. All I gotta do now is get like a soft cookie and go in body line and get that all out of there. And then I'll take my die grinder right now and clean that right up. Now I'll go to the other side. Okay, so as you can see, well, from the videos, we got this all stripped. So it looks pretty good. Like I said, I'm not gonna do like underneath the rocker, just because there's gonna be side skirts. I didn't really need to do this either, because there's always gonna be side skirts on this thing. Um, but whatever, it just makes you feel better about it. And then underneath here, it's kind of like gravel guard. It's really rough anyway. But the one thing I'll probably do is like strip this for the most part, because it's rusting just surface rust, like the uh, gravel guard is kind of peeled off and this has been probably jacked up on so it's kind of folded. It looks bad, but that should clean right up. So basically what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go actually have a couple of soft cookies here. I checked in my little bag and I do. So I'm gonna go get all this paint out of here and I got that cleaned up. So I might do around here as well. And then I'm probably gonna even do up here because It'd be good to get that completely off. Same with around here. Nice, easy, flat spots like that. And yeah, I'll just go around, probably sand all these edges completely off. I can sand that now that I got the bumper off. right up super nice now same with up here basically what I did was 
took like the finest grinding disc, which I, I think was an 80, 80 grit that I had. And then I went over it with uh, like this, like the brown one, just to smooth out the 80 marks. And then I went back over it with the DA and sanded it smooth. So it's kind of matching the rest of the door. And then I went around and actually cleaned up this whole kind of surround for the door handle. Uh, there was a little bit of pitting up here and down in this corner. And then you saw over here too, just from probably the handle like rubbing over the years. Uh, when people grab it, just kind of wore the paint away. So it started to rust, but it cleaned up super nice. And also down here, cleaned up this body line completely. Looks awesome. Super happy with that. So now, this side is done. Go to the other side. So now you can see this side, all cleaned up as well. Body line around here. And then all the, where the moldings basically cover is all cleaned up real nice too. So I think I'm gonna end this video right there. That's pretty much the, the last of like the really like tedious um, well, not the last, I guess, but probably the last that I'll film because I still have to go and just hand sand like all these edges and stuff like that. Um, but for the next video, we should be getting into getting into that rust. And there's also a couple little spots uh, in the wheel well, actually, that I, I didn't show, but I'll, I'll show that. And basically you get that cut out and hopefully I'll get the welder this weekend and get some metal and start making some, some small patches. Uh, so there's not a ton of rust on the car, so that's really good. Uh, yeah, but if you're enjoying, I don't see the process of this, I'm gonna definitely continue filming it. I'm not exactly sure um, how often I'm gonna upload. I'm gonna try and do it once a week, but kinda, there's a lot going on with, I don't know, just everything going on right now. So I'm gonna try and do it once a week. Um, but if not, then just subscribe and you'll know when I upload and you can keep following along if you wanna do that. But I appreciate you watching and we'll see you in the next one.